Hey guys, so I literally have like 30 minutes to film this, so we're gonna have to be real f***ing speedy. Now, I realise that a lot of people don't watch outros. I make them anyway because I feel like, I feel like outros are kind of necessary, but I feel like people just don't watch outros, right? I don't watch outros. So from now on, I'm gonna skip, I'm gonna take one part of the outro, put it in the intro. So, subscribe because I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday at around 8pm, but most of the time it's around 8.30 to 9 because I don't get my together and that's the part that i want to take from the outro into the intro because people ask me when i post videos so i'm going to make it clear here wednesdays and sundays so turn on my post notifications so you know if i upload in between because that I could drop a little surprise you never know today's video is a bit of a special one i don't think that many people requested it but i saw like one or maybe two comments requesting it and i was like well i'm gonna do that i'm not gonna do the video that like a hundred thousand people slight exaggeration requested me to do i'm gonna do the one that like two people wanted so shout out to you guys if you're even here anymore. I'm kind of doing like a where are they now? <laughs> Which makes me sound like Michael McCrudden. Just trash. Absolute f***ing trash. Like that's a whole other video. But Michael McCrudden is absolute f***ing trash. And if you watch his videos, then you are ultimately trash by association. That's the thesis. I'm doing like a where are they now? Team 10 edition. So we're gonna basically just see who's still there and who's doing what in light of the Shane Dawson and Jake Paul documentary I think it's a good idea to because I don't think he's going to cover it in that much detail because it's more about Jake than the people that he was friends with because I know he's doing like a thing with Nick Crompton and Alyssa Violet but I think the rest of them are kind of in his eyes obviously he's not going to have time to talk to everyone but I feel like just talking about the people that left and the people that are still here and comparing and contrasting the numbers should be a pretty interesting journey and for someone like me who doesn't actually you watch Jake Paul it was interesting to do the research on it because what I figured out is I don't actually know that many of the people that were in team 10 which probably in my head means that they weren't popular before they went into team 10 of course some of them did like the Dobre twins and that kind of a thing but people like Alyssa Violet weren't known before team 10 because Jake Paul kind of discovered her and people like that if you're wondering yes I have my journal yes it's a whole vibe it's a whole thing don't shout at me. We're gonna start with kind of the obvious, the most known, the, you know, the first person to leave Team 10, or should I say get kicked out of Team 10, is Alyssa Violet. Alyssa Violet was Jake Paul's girlfriend, but then it turns out that he was treating her like shit and they were never actually officially boyfriend and girlfriend, so that he was using that as an excuse to treat her like shit and cheat on her and then kick her out once she did the same to him. But actually, Alyssa Violet is doing great. A sis, a queen is thriving. She doesn't post a lot. She posted a video two weeks ago and a month ago, a month ago, a month ago, a month ago, two months ago, and she's getting in the millions of views. She posted a video two weeks ago and it's almost on a million views. 1.1, 1.7, 1.5, 2, 3.6, 2.1, 3.5. She's doing just fine. And if you look at her social blade, in the last 30 days she has gained 36,000 subscribers and she's on a positive. She gets a daily average of 1.2k. I'm not going to go into everyone's social blade because if I did that this video was, would literally be five hours long so we're not gonna do that but I feel like because Alyssa is like the main person that started the decline of team 10. The next person that I kind of want to talk about is Tessa Brooks. Tessa Brooks is actually a dancer more than anything and then she kind of went into YouTube, she did team 10, she did her own channel and then she left. What Tessa said is that they all just grew apart and that her and Jake didn't really see eye to eye anymore and I can kind of see that from clips of Jake Paul's vlogs. <laughs> I thought that was- are you good? Because you laugh like a walrus all the time. It's annoying. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Hey. Your turn. No! 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 Like, they do not see eye to eye, and it's very much obvious. And I think she worded it very nicely to not start drama, but I can definitely tell where she's coming from. However, her channel is currently in a decline. She gets anywhere between, like, 50 and 200,000 views as of the last month. Before that, she would get about half a mil, 400,000 a mil, but then it said, like, I'm pregnant with twins. Of course, that's going to have more views because people are like, oh my god, Tessa's pregnant with twins. But all the other ones that are, like, non-clickbaity are any 
somewhere between like 100 and 400,000 views and she's on 3.5 million subscribers. Her channel is actually not doing that great in regards to Social Blade. She's gaining view subscribers on some days but she's losing a ton of them on other days so her daily average is actually 25 subscribers <laughs> but like the other people that are very important to consider are people like nick crompton who were very close to jake paul and then left because of reasons not necessarily to do with jake paul nick crompton revealed that she she left yes she she the nick crompton left nick crompton left because greg paul tried to get very involved once and he got shut down by jake paul and then all of a sudden they moved into their new house and greg paul got a little bit too much power and Nick kind of explained it as like it wasn't what it used to be. It wasn't like a group of friends having fun together. It was a group of friends led by a very possessive father who is just trying to get his hands onto the business instead of letting his child, who's not a child anymore, who's a grown man, run his business on his own because it's his business, you know, at the end of the day. And I think I understand why Nick Crompton left. And I know Nick Crompton right now is working on a podcast and some are speculating that he's doing kind of like a new team 10 kind of a thing to compete with the actual team 10 but i know that what is confirmed right now is a podcast and he does have like a team 10 version of a house but the address is not public and that's all i have to say about nick crompton and i'm gonna get into like the actual personal afterwards right now i'm just trying to get the basics down if you're like me and don't watch jake paul which i'm sure most people that watch my videos don't actually watch jake paul so we're all in this boat together we're learning as we go the next person that i want to talk about is chance i know his name is chance in america but hello i am from the uk don't come for me sideways chance sutton was one of jake's like closest friends they were best friends so the fact that he left actually shocked a lot of people more than nick leaving and all the other guys because nick was more of like the behind the scenes guy so it was more clear that he was ready to leave once greg came in and started bossing people around because that was kind of nick's job it was to control everything from behind the scenes and once greg wanted to do that it was almost like nick was being replaced so it was understandable why nick left and then chance left who was like a big part of team 10 on camera rather than behind the scenes and chance basically said that he is doing this to focus on himself which i feel like is very bullshit excuse i feel like a lot of these people like i wrote down like a list of just like one-liners that i got from their videos for why they left and i feel like a lot of it is bull they are just kind of like beating around the bush so chance basically said that he was trying to focus on himself if you have a group of friends that does not mean that you can't focus on yourself while being friends with people you know, i have friends and that doesn't mean that i'm not able to focus on myself unless there's some saucy going on behind the scenes which is not letting these people focus on themselves and that is the thesis but his channel is currently on a decline like a pretty bad decline so his video last week got thirty-seven thousand views then 30 then 30 100 and so on there's none in the last month or in the last you know 10 videos that are over 200 000. the most is 141 uh that is pretty bad i'm gonna express my opinion i think chance was known for being jake paul's best friend and once you lose that tagline you lose yourself and your personality on the internet because if your whole personality on the internet is being friends with someone and i've said this before i said it in my grace video you are only known for being someone's friend then once you don't have that friendship you have no personality on the internet even though you actually do have a personality on your own outside of youtube but in the youtube space your whole personality is being someone's friend and the fact that he obviously lost that it led to a pretty big decline on his channel now we're gonna get into it because his social blade is one of the worst that i've seen so he has in the last 30 days lost all almost 10,000 subscribers and is getting daily averages of like negative 330 subscribers and is getting anywhere between like what six and 20,000 views a day and that goes for a channel with 2.6 million subscribers I don't think I'm wrong in saying that his personality was being Jake's best friend and now that's lost and his personality on the internet is also lost I don't think leaving team 10 when he did was a good business move I think he knew that himself so saying that he was leaving to focus on himself was bull and i think there was some shit going on behind the scenes that kind of forced him out of the house the next kind of set of people that i want to talk about are the martinez twins who i'm actually quite against right now 
Like, I'm not really feeling them, but they're actually doing great. They're on almost 5 million subscribers. They are gaining 35,000 subscribers a month and are getting daily averages of about 1.2k. However, they made a video basically coming out and saying we were bullied by Jake Paul through pranks, through the destruction of their room with fan art and fan letters on them. And then in the Shane Dawson documentary, Nick Compton actually said that all of the pranks that happen in the Team 10 house are fake. So the fact that you felt like you were being bullied through pranks is bull it because the pranks were fake and you were in on it and the destruction of the room they said that they put the room together which is actually true but not in the way that they said it the room was put together for that prank so the destruction of the room wasn't crazy because they didn't put the room together to like live in it they put the room together to destroy it for that prank so the fact that they were so like hurt on video about those pranks and about being bullied by Jake Paul through pranks is bullshit and it's a lie and I'm actually not sure why they're still gaining subscribers after that. I just think there's this big bandwagon of Jake Paul hate. I don't think Jake Paul's an amazing person. I don't necessarily think that he's a great friend, but I don't think they were bullied. I think they knew what they were signing up for. I think there's a big bandwagon of seeing other people leave Team 10 and then they kind of said, uh, we're gonna just film a video and call Jake Paul a bully, but they knew what they were getting themselves into. They knew what the pranks were about because they weren't real. And that is the thesis, and I'm not actually sure why those frauds are still gaining subs. The next set of twins that left were the Dobre twins. They left and they said that it was because they were homesick and unhappy. Fair enough, I literally have nothing to say about it, but I feel like they didn't take a hit because they were really popular before getting into Team 10. They're still gaining half a million subscribers a month and are getting like 5 million views a day. Like they're doing just fine. And I think that's because they didn't depend on Jake Paul for their career. I'm like the only person that was able to do that is Alyssa Violet and that's it. Um, Alyssa Violet basically came in not having a career and then left with a career and is doing fine. With these guys they came in with a career and they still left with a career and they're just fine. Like there was no beef, no drama, they literally just left. At least there was no public beef or drama because we know people like to hide those things. Overall I want to say that there were 13 people who left from what I found, correct me if I'm wrong, and those were Nick Crompton, Chance Sutton, Tessa Brooks, Tristan Tails, Alyssa Violet, Alex, the Martinez twins, which is two people, Max, Niels Visser, the Dobre twins, which is also two people, and AJ Mitchell, which leaves us with 13 people getting kicked out or leaving Team 10. Now, the people that are still in Team 10 is a very debatable topic right now. So there's Jake, Erica Castell, Chad, Anthony, Justin, and Ben, who is a six-year-old. And also Apollo, the dog. I feel like the least problematic in that household. I stand deeply and truly. I know I wish him all the best. If you think about it, like Jake and Erica, obviously they're there because they have a relationship. There's Chad and Anthony and Justin, who I just don't know who they are. I know who Anthony is, but like the rest of them have no clue. And then a six-year-old. Can we admit that Team 10 is falling apart? Last year, Team 10 was probably the strongest thing on YouTube. Uh, they were getting millions of views a day, millions of dollars, millions of subscribers. And now there are six people and a dog and 13 people have left including people like Nick Crompton, Tessa Brooks and Chance who were like the core of Team 10 along with Jake Paul. I find it quite weird all those people left and I want to know the real reasons not the bull reasons of we grew apart, I want to focus on myself, I want to focus on my career, I was homesick, I want to know the real tea because I can't believe all 13 people left with no beef no drama. Oh, actually, should I say 11 people because Nick left through drama and Alyssa left with big drama. So the 11 people left, according to them, on good terms. Mm. So now my question about that is if there's no bad feelings, why is Jake Paul not talking to any of them? Jake Paul has no contact with any former members, even people like Nick Crompton and Chance, who are his best friends, right hands. There is zero contact between Jake Paul and them and any other members that left. Whether it was on good terms or bad terms, there is zero contact. And to me, that looks like they didn't leave on good terms. They were either kicked out or there was beef that they just weren't allowed to disclose, maybe due to a contract. 
I don't know. I don't know, sis. So in conclusion, Alyssa Violet is thriving and she's very happily with Banks. Tessa Brooks is doing really bad. Nick Crompton is starting a podcast and is apparently starting a new Team 10. Chance is losing 10,000 subscribers a month. Uh, the Martinez twins are up by 35,000, which I don't think they deserve after lying. Like I get it if you leave on bad terms, but does that mean you have to lie? And did they think that wasn't gonna come out that the pranks are fake? The whole thing Thing about them being bullied was based on pranks like 99% of it was because of the pranks and now it turns out that the pranks are fake which we all knew so where is the bullying because I don't see her I, I don't know where she is and the Dobre twins are up by half a million subscribers every month and they are doing just fine even though they're really cringe i was planning a whole different video for sunday my plan for that video is right here just so that you know you you know i'm not lying that's the one i posted on my instagram which will be here along with my twitter and snapchat which is all the same thing that was the plan for sunday's video but i realized that would take a little bit longer to make so i need just a little bit more time for that one also i will make a video about the jake paul shane dawson series once the series is done i don't want to be one of those people that milks every episode for all it's worth i think it will be just better and more coherent for me to watch all eight parts and then make a video where I basically summarize each episode and say whether I liked it or not rather than making a video about every single part because I feel like that's so boring it's so boring so you have that to look forward to I guess once Shane Dawson's series is done so if you enjoyed the video leave a like comment down below anything you want to comment down below and subscribe because I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday at 8 to 9 p.m and turn on my post notifications because I might post videos in between you never know and i'll see you in my next one bye guys